Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 33 of my Lazio Football Manager 2016 Let's Play. Games today against Inter and Manchester City. The Manchester City game in the Champions League is probably not going to be important. Mathematically, it is possible, but Besiktas is simply not going to beat Barcelona. It could happen, but there is a really, really low chance. So I suppose we should just do our best and try and win it because you don't know what can happen. Uh, but we'll uh, get into the game. We'll go to the match preview. And of course, quickly, with the last episode I did in this series yesterday, the comments was amazing for what I had to talk about at the start of the video. So many of you guys supporting me think pretty much every single comment uh, was kind of, yeah, positive and supporting, so I really appreciate that. I just really wanted to get the point across, uh, things like talking about my views and everything like that. It doesn't really matter at all. I don't really want to focus on that kind of thing, to be honest. I want you to focus on my save and what's going on my save, because that's why I created my channel in the first place, recording Football Manager videos. I want to share, yeah, what's going on in my certain Football Manager careers, you know what I mean? So I kind of want that to be the main focus. I actually remember back in the FM13, FM14 days, that was my favorite time on YouTube because I didn't have as many subscribers and that wasn't even an issue for people to talk about. People just focused on the save, gave me some tips, their thoughts on my tactics, players, signings, everything like that. And I suppose that's why I really got into YouTube and kept doing it regularly because the response from you guys at the time was absolutely amazing. So hopefully you can kind of get what I want to achieve from YouTube uh, throughout that, what I want my channel to be based around. I want to have a unique channel compared to, yeah, different people. I don't want to be, yeah, that kind of channel where there's a lot of comments that are just uh, rubbish, you know? You don't want to be that as well, right? You want to uh, input something that I actually would take on board and have interest listening to. That's, I see as a community we have here, that's what I, I'm doing my very best to make my videos in that way as well. Sometimes it's hard, though, with the internet these days. But I hope you guys understand that. And we are going to focus on this game against Inter, yeah, probably a bit more than Manchester City, like I mentioned, because, yeah, there's a very low chance of getting into that second position. And we have to try and win the title because Juventus actually dropped points in the last game as well, uh, just now. They picked up a draw, it was nil-nil, so we have a great opportunity, but this is not going to be an easy game as well, but I feel this will be the starting eleven to get the job done, so let's head into the game. Okay, it's a free kick, Bilia now, uh, it looks like Inter's going to counter, we win it back though, oh, we lose it, Embolo, good ball, but Redu dealt with it really, really well, see... That's why sometimes it's good to have fullbacks that are strong, like centre-backs that can play a fullback position because they can use their strength on those occasions. This could be a goal! Belotti, he's really hitting some form now. I think he's 100% uh, settled in uh, to our team, and he is starting to smash in goals. And now, look at that, five points. In this is, this is what we need here, that five-point gap, and then... Yeah, we'll be on a nice little buffer, <laughs> but it's the Juventus. That's crazy because I see Juventus as the dominant team. But yeah, that would be absolutely amazing. Look, I think this season in the league, uh, we have, we've done what we needed to exactly uh, to be in this position, and I'm happy with that. Okay, it's a corner. We have to defend, though, here. That was cleared by Parolo. Very good header away, but we've got to make sure they don't mount another quality chance. It's Peruzzi. He goes back, Baragi, Miranda. Miranda's a good defender, and Juan Jesus. Oh, Radu and Parolo. Team defense once more. Team tackling. Drussi out wide to Philippe Anderson. Get that ball in, lad. Get that ball in, lad! Zivkovic! He's hitting some good form as well. That's the reason I put him in, actually, instead of uh, Riyad Mahrez. He's doing fantastically. Look at that recent form. Last three games he's played in, and those are all ones he started in. Keep note of that. Coming in at, or coming on as a sub so far this season hasn't been that good, but when he starts, he fires. Starting three last games, obviously, well, yeah, that, the games he started, he scored three goals. And, yeah, he's just on fire. And one of them against Juventus as well. He's hitting form at the right time. And, yeah, Philippe Anderson, obviously... He's coming into his own as well. First season was a bit in and out, rotating. Uh, but now, yeah, he's showing he's probably better 
then the other choice we have at left wing, which of course uh, is Balde Keita, who hasn't had the best of seasons. It was injury interrupted preseason. So you can see how that kind of hampers a season. But yeah, Philippe Anderson, he's getting the job done. But look at this amazing away from home performance here in the first half Inter at home. They've only had one shot on target and one shot total. They're not creating anything at all. That's a credit to our defense, 100%. And a whole team, because obviously it starts from a good midfield possession and not letting them get through as well. But Zivkovic, Drusi, Belotti, Philippe Anderson. That would have been an amazing team goal as well. That's what I see this first half performance as, an amazing team performance. Heading into halftime now, I could not be any more pleased with the performance. And we've got the goals uh, to reward that, obviously. Philippe Anderson creating those. We'll go passionately. I'm very pleased at performance. Keep it up, lads. Okay, Radu with the throw. Parolo now. Parolo. Radu. Bilia. Can he strike one? No, gets it to Zivkovic. Goes back to Bilia. Oh, gave it away. Very disappointing there. We had a good opportunity because they're going to counter now. Win the header, Radu. Well done. But then Peruzzi gets it back. Adair. Block the crossing chance. Block him. Okay, he did. Now Peruzzi in the ball. Soriano. They're still mounting a decent attack here. Adair. Jovetic. He scores. Uh, pretty disappointing. Inter did really well there, to be honest, for only their second shot of the day, though. So, yeah, that's what's disappointing about it. We just could not win the ball back there, unfortunately. Jovetic, you give him half a chance inside the box, and he's likely to score. And a problem for us right now, Dusan Basta on a yellow card, having a poor game, condition going lower as well. But unfortunately, Patrick picked up a little injury. We don't really have someone else to come in for him. So that's the issue right now, and I don't want to like change it up, put three at the back, because yeah, I don't want to risk. We've got a nice lead, and we need to keep defending We ha like the way we have for the whole game, apart from that one opportunity they had, really. But I do feel I want to make some sort of change before we head into 60 minutes, as I feel a chance, a good chance, probably, that could come for them. Stefan Radu, he's on a bit of lower condition as well, so we'll just make the change of Sanad Lulic. Uh, he can come on. Uh, with a superb morale, and hopefully he can do something a bit more. Uh, I would love to finish off this game with another goal. That's probably what I, I would prefer, obviously. That sounds pretty nice. Defensive line, we'll just go back to normal, though, just uh, uh, slightly. Well, not it's not deeper, it's just we're on normal, but deeper than we were, instead of pushing up a little bit. But we should... Actually, now, I want to go shorter passing and retain possession. So, we can try and go to control now, maybe. We'll try that and see, yeah, see a difference for maybe next five or ten minutes. See if we can analyze and if we are actually going to be dominating the game, dominating possession, uh, because that will be important, changing to that. If we don't, yeah, uh, that will give him opportunities. So, again, I don't want to wait too long before making this change. And wanting to control a bit more on possession. I think Sebastian Drussi, who has been a good player for us this season, he's going to drop out, though. And we're going to drop Danilo. I think Danilo Cataldi uh, will be the best option here. And then we drop that defensive midfielder. Uh, he's very good in that position for the deep-lying playmaker. We'll put that on defend. And we still got the supporting one of Parolo, so we can still have that attacking threat. And, yeah, we should hold on to that for now. Uh, just say I have faith in you, Danilo. Still a very young player, so he looks happy coming on. Okay, Basta with the throw in. Zivkovic goes back to Basta, finds Belotti. Basta gets it again. Get that ball in. It's dangerous. But it's not going to come to anything right now anyway. Cataldi. Ah, disappointing. See, I feel as though uh, Basta hasn't had a good game. And Willie Auburn's condition's going down. I just, I need to save a change for a bit later. Like, who knows if, like, Inter score another goal. It's, uh, it's, it's a tough time. It's a time we have to make bold decisions. But look, Inter have only had, well, now four shots in total. They haven't really created many opportunities. We are, we are defending uh, solidly for the most part. Oh, 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 I was just about to pause. You, you can see that 100%. Oh, so I hope they don't score. Okay. That should be the key chance, I would like to think. So now, 
I swear that happens so much. Like when you're about to, you're just about to press the space bar or press pause and a highlight comes just as you did it. <laughs> uh, that's funny. But see, can we actually, can Gentiletti play right? Nah, he can't. He can't play right back. He can play left back a little bit. That's what I was wondering. So yeah, Dusan Basta, he's just going to have to tough it out pretty much. Um, but I think we're going to have to go slightly more defensive, at least, uh, fullbacks, yeah, can we just put the fullbacks on defend now, Dusan Basta, he's good at fullback, oh, he's good support, I feel we still need a little bit of that threat, but just, yeah, fullback on support, but we won't look for the overlap now, we'll just, well, yeah, we've got the inside forward, so, yeah, uh, yeah, you, I, I was thinking maybe hit early crosses, but, they're yeah, not quite, We'll go counter now, actually. Yeah, we will go counter, and we'll sit slightly deeper. Tempo will still be higher. We get the ball back, go more direct passing. Uh, yeah, we'll just clear the ball to the flanks. So, be more disciplined still on. Stick to positions. We'll take run at the fence off, and we'll press OK on that. Can we change the wingers? And just, they might be... I know I'm changing to attack, but best roll, yeah... Because we're going to be playing on the counter. We're trying to have uh, most of the other players anyway uh, sitting uh, fairly deep. So hopefully... <laughs> oh, well, I haven't even made a change here, like an like actual substitute. Can I or do I have to? Sometimes you don't have to, but the next the next match against Man City, it, to me, it should be it's going to be a write-off anyway. But do we add another centre-back like I did... Uh, maybe I just have to. That's what we can do, actually. Do we just drop out Belotti? He's 71% condition as well. So let's try and just bring Gentiletti in and just add that other centre-back into... Yeah, but just make it a back five. Just make it, yeah, very strong at the back. So there we go. I'm just experimenting, yeah, doing that a few times now. And we'll see. We'll see how we go. And, yeah, some people say create another tactic or something. But when I make those changes, it's still accomplished. It's still fairly familiar. The boys are familiar with this kind of way of playing still because it's not major tactical or instruction changes. Not a little bit, but, yeah, not major. That's why it's still accomplished and, yeah, good enough, I'd like to think. But hopefully... Hopefully we don't concede. Oh, that went really close. Hopefully we can hold on. It's just, yeah, the final minutes. Last five minutes here. Just need to hold on. And we should be able to... Under two minutes now. Now two minutes of added time. And we should be okay. Get past that minute. Yep, we have got it. We've got it here. Just clear this. Cataldi. There we go tactically smart at the end of the game to make sure to hold on to that result that we deserve, that we won earlier in the game. So, yeah, a good a good win. Uh, it wasn't our best performance, but oh, we've had a lot of tough games in a row. So and this is another one of those and more coming <laughs> by Man City next. So they have that in their minds. But, oh, look at that. The referee had a good game as well, 9.3. So... Yeah, well done. Didn't give yeah, didn't give them any silly penalties or anything like that. So referee did his job. He had a good performance. Uh, we'll leave the match now after a good performance. So now, guys, before this Manchester City game, you look at our recent form. That big loss against Barcelona. You take that away, and we've been winning all these games. It actually looks pretty decent. So. I've got a bit of confidence going to this game, and Barcelona are playing away from home against Besiktas. Who knows? They've got some players that can win the game, but, you know, Barcelona, they have amazing players. Anything can happen in Football Manager, though. So, come on, Besiktas, try and get the victory, but we still have to beat Manchester City away from home. So, it's a tremendous task for ourselves and Besiktas as well. So, that makes it really unlikely. But, as I said, anything is possible and we are going to have to just go all out, really. We're not going to rotate, maybe put second string. Well, not exactly second string players, but rotation players in. Uh, we've brought Riyad Mahrez back in. Zivkovic needs a bit of a rest now, but excellent. Look at that last five games, eight. You know a player, yeah, only him and Ruli, yeah, have got it at that high. So you can kind of see his performance. And Ruli will have to rely on him, of course, today. But hopefully we can again. Like I said, we need our strongest uh, lineup for the most part. Anyway, I think this is our strongest lineup to uh, try and get the victory. And even if we don't go through, I just want a good performance. 
uh, so we can be at least, I know it's a big difference. It's like a couple months, a few months until the next stage of Europa League and Champions League. If we get in Europa League, well, we will get in Europa League if we don't get in Champions League, knock our stages. Uh, yeah, we need to be on some good form. Our last game, it'll give us confidence. It'll at least give us some belief going into it more than anything. So come on, boys. Let's do our best here. Belotti. Early opportunity here. Could we take it? Basta. Mares. Oh, great opportunity early. Gentiletti. Bilia. Parolo. It's still alive. Redu. Philippe Anderson. Philippe Anderson. Oh, finish Belotti. He does. We get the needed goal. He finishes. But unfortunately, uh, we are still uh, below Barcelona because of goal difference. We're like minus three. Well, technically it would be minus two now. And they were like uh, plus six, plus six or seven, something like that. So we make it so close. Like if we finish like that, but Barcelona, you would imagine they'll win against Besiktas. But yeah, at least we'll only be one point away from Man City if we do in fact win this game. And I think we, we would have competed well. I'd like to see your guys' thoughts. I guess we'll see at the end of this game. But yeah, nonetheless, uh, we I think we've competed. We have competed well with FC Barcelona and Man City in this group of death, really. Oh no, I just paused here and it says a foul for Radu. And he's on a yellow card, so basically that means he's going to get a red now. I don't want to continue. <laughs> I have to. Yep, he's going to get a red now. And the referee wants to ruin the game. Yep, there you go. What a cunt of a referee to ruin the moments. Ha, ah, what are we going to do now, eh? Uh, we'll just take off Baster, I guess. He, he, he just ruined it. He just he, he ruined this entertaining game it could have been. We've still got the lead and we'll go three, three centre-backs, but Man City more likely to dominate now. Thanks for that. Okay, Zabaleta with the throw-in, Philippe Anderson. It's only going to be a matter of time they score as well, unless we can do something. Belotti, Drusi here. Okay, come on. Oh, this is not going to be easy, boys. They're going to attack us now, Sterling. Sterling with the pace. Oh, we block it well. But, oh, will it be a cross? No, Zabaleta, yes. The cross. G get rid of it. Ah, uh, very disappointing. Very disappointing there to concede like that. After that red card as well. That early in the game. Uh, we got the ball. Look, oh, kick it away. Far, oh, man. Okay, Otamendi. It's like, yeah, with a less man against Man City, we don't really have hope. Luckily, yeah, we didn't really have a chance to win here. Yep. Let's just finish this game up soon as possible. <laughs> Come on, boys. Have to move on from this Champions League now. Okay, there's a highlight right away, maybe, if we get a goal back right away. But the second half is going to be tough either way, even if we do score. But they're probably more likely. I, I just hope this isn't morale depleting. This is the last thing we could have wanted. Come on. Ah, oh, and a foul. Yeah, nah, like, this is, this is ridiculous. We get a player that gets two yellow cards in, like, the first 20 minutes or something... And then, yeah, penalty. Yeah, you can just leave what you think about that. I always say that because, yeah, I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to complain about the game, yeah? <laughs> just giving my thoughts. But anyway, yeah, getting destroyed now. We were actually competing when we had 11 men, but they wanted to stuff us up. Okay, we are into the second half now. I just skipped the team talk as well. It can be stuffed, yeah, doing that. Just so annoying. De Bruyne now. Toure. Sterling. Oh, they almost score again. Okay, oh, it's Silva. They've got the corner. And it goes back to him as well. David Silva, Sterling, Sterling, Yaya Toure. Good save from Ruli. Uh, I really don't want this to be a big loss. I don't want the morale to go down because that could affect us in the league. Like I said, that's the last thing we needed uh, from this. Uh, we, I'm I'm really disappointed. Look, I'm I don't really care about this game. I'm I'm focusing on future games now. Our morale well, looks okay here. I don't think, uh, yeah, Philippe Anderson is going to come off. Bolde Kater will bring on here. Uh, might as well make another change. Maybe just keep some. Yeah, Lukas Billiard. There's no yeah reason risking his fitness or anything like that. So yeah, we just made that change. Oh no! Oh Besiktas, they they they're winning. 
We could have won this. This makes me more mad now. Oh, man. If we won this against Manchester City, man, that referee. Man, I'm, I'm actually mad now. We had a good opportunity to get something from this game. We get a win. We could have won. We're in a position to. Ah. <laughs> That's actually made me really pissed off right now. Oh, no way. That has really pissed me off right now. And yeah, that's how the game is going to end. Yep, the last 40 seconds. They're probably not going to score. And even if we did, it wouldn't make a difference. De Bruyne. Oh, well, yeah, uh, Barcelona, they must have got the goal back. So again, that doesn't matter anyway. So yeah, <laughs> I was mad about nothing or frustrated about nothing. We wouldn't have, even if we ended up winning, we wouldn't have been in the Champions League. So uh, this game... Like I said, probably was going to mean nothing, and it did. I'm still not happy with the performance, but it wasn't 100% our fault. Yeah, if we didn't get, uh, yeah, that red card early in the game, just, yeah, how can you control that? How can you control a player? Yeah, getting two yellow cards early uh, doesn't happen. It's not like we get that regularly. It's just, yeah, one of those things happens on those rare occasions in Football Manager. And, oh, look, it was just three minutes later. Surely a professional player is smart enough. <laughs> oh, let's just move on. So, guys, we'll leave it here. A bit of a frustrating game there against Manchester City. I hope, again, yeah, it hasn't affected our uh, morale too much. Yeah, it's still, yeah, pretty solid. We've still got some superbs in there and very good. So, yeah, you can see very good morale on majority of the players. So, uh, we can get a win maybe against Kievo at home. Yeah, get that confidence back and morale boosted up. And then we got Brescia uh, got it in the cup. So, that could be something we'd go for. Maybe a cup win as well. Maybe there could be actually a treble we could go for this season. League, Europa League, and then the Cup. Still alive for them all. League, we're in a good position. So we'll just see how it goes, though. So sorry about that second game against Manchester City. I got a bit frustrated with it. It's funny. Sometimes you can get frustrated in the game when, yeah, there was pretty much, yeah, there was a slight chance, and that almost came true for a second where Barcelona were in a position to lose. But, yeah, it was... It was a bit it was a bit disappointing, but we will leave it there. Focus on the positive uh, into Milan, and we're five points clear of Juventus. That is really positive. But don't forget to drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the very next episode.